Hey guys, welcome to my tips and tricks on Windows 8 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a shutdown and restart shortcut to your Metro Start um, screen. So, first thing we want to do is go to your desktop. And in this video, we're going to do shutdown shortcut, restart shortcut, and a restart everything shortcut. So, let's just go ahead and get started so first thing you want to do is right click your desktop go to new shortcut and in the in the text area for the shortcut you're gonna write shut down do a space forward slash R space forward slash T space zero I'm gonna hit next and this one is actually gonna be our, our restart shortcut okay we're gonna add um, icons to them later so we went ahead and got that one now the next one we're gonna do and we're gonna do the same thing new shortcut okay only this time we're gonna do forward slash G T and 0 just like that and this is gonna be and what what that means is reset everything um, you can name this re, um, shortcut whatever you want but what it's going to do is it's going to restart Windows 8 and any open applications that you have. So, leave that one there. And now we're going to do the same thing for uh, the shutdown of the computer. Okay, so forward slash S, forward slash T, and then zero. This one's just going to be shut down. I'm just going to make that S capital because I think it looks better. And then finish. So now we're going to pick some icons for our buttons. So right click the shortcut, go to properties, and in this menu you're going to choose change icon hit OK now this is the restart one so let's just look through these icons and pick one that we think might be appropriate and sure we'll use this one click OK so that's going to be our restart now we have a restart everyone, same thing, properties, change icon, and let's see if we can find a different one, let's do that one. That way the, the, the icons make a little bit more sense. This will just be restart windows, this will be restart everything open on the computer. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what we're going to do. So for this last one there's a cool little power button down here okay now we have our so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move these all to the start menu um, you notice that you can right click it and say pin to start but we're gonna do it the proper way and we're gonna go to the actual file location so we're gonna open up um, file explorer and you're just gonna type exactly what I do. I'm gonna leave a link. Sorry, not a link. Uh, I'm gonna leave a line that you can copy and paste in the description. I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this while I type it. So as you can see, here is the full file path 
on my computer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag these shortcuts into this folder. Okay, then you can close it. We're going to hit the start key and now we're back. Now if you look all the way to the right, here they are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them in their own uh, menu bar just like that and I'm going to minus out right click it I'm going to name this group um, shut down okay even though we can do more than shut down let's move them like there um, and I usually leave them to the all the way to the right because uh, we don't want to accidentally click on them when they're over here but if they're over here the chances of you accidentally hitting them are a lot uh, more slim. So instead of going uh, settings, power, and then choosing one of these, we can actually now uh, just click this icon to make it a lot easier to restart or shut down the computer.